itchy pink bumps, missing leaves, an unprecedented challenge. Maine has a brown tail moth problem so bad you can call 211 for help. Uh, just the extent and intensity of it. I mean, it's really something that we haven't seen. State scientists say the moths, with their webby nets and leaf munching caterpillars, defoliated more than 125,000 acres of Maine trees by the end of last year. We see brown tail moth from east of the Penobscot River uh, all the way to the New Hampshire border. The worst damage this year is once again in Maine's mid coast, all the way up to places like Camden making it harder for Mainers to avoid rash causing caterpillar hairs. The caterpillars have hundreds of those hairs and they're casting skin all spring. Here at Wolf's Neck State Park in Freeport, the moths have canceled kids programs and forced staff to take precautions. We have actually worn Tyvek suits when we mow. Annie Hutchinson's seen brown tails at Wolf's Neck since the 90s. Uh, right on the top of the oak tree up there. They were particularly bad last year, some staff getting a rash. This spring, Andy's seen fewer webs. The wet weather and a fungus took many moths out. I feel lucky we're in the region where we are seeing the population crash. But the bugs aren't totally gone, which is why the park puts up posters and warns visitors at the gate. As summer approaches, scientists are warning visitors as well to watch for caterpillars on cars, to turn off lights that attract male moths to homes, and to call them if they see caterpillars somewhere unusual all to mitigate a problem that may get better, even if it doesn't disappear. It's been in Maine for more than 100 years, so I don't expect it's going to go away. In Freeport, Dustin Blinkowski, News Center, Maine. And Maine's Forest Service says if you have a brown tail moth problem and want to have your trees sprayed, you should contact a licensed professional.